Hey guys, this is Superman here and today I'm here for another tutorial video for you guys because you guys have been requesting this tutorial video. So um uh basically the tutorial video is on this effect that I have here on the Trident uh intro that I have. I'll I'm going to play it right now. As you can see that little cube effect that I have, it just goes boom and then goes back into the text. So uh that's basically what I'm going to show you how to do. I'm going to exit out this uh the Chrome. So um, now I'm going to go into Cinema 4D here. All of it basically just happens in Cinema 4D. There's no After Effects effect that does that. It's basically a bunch of Cinema 4D effectors that makes that thing, that amazing thing happen. Well, to me it's amazing. To you guys, maybe it's not. But um, let's go into Cinema 4D here. I'm going to open it up. Uh, my computer is kind of slow, so the video might be a little laggy. Oh, it opened up on the wrong window. There we go. Um, First things first, you gotta have your uh, you gotta have your mo text. So mo text is basically 3D text objects. Yes, I am using the Moon Man's uh, HDRI stuff kit. So uh, basically, what you do is you have your text object right here. Um, uh, actually, uh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna gonna delete those movements right there. Okay, so basically, you got your text object, your 3D text object. Now that's not the only thing you need. You need one of the um which macallits. You got to get one of the you got to get one of those normal text objects. I'm kind of sick today, so that's why like my nose is kind of stuffy and you guys are hearing a weird voice. So um yeah, you got to have your text object and you got to have your mo text object. Uh now what you want to do is you want to just highlight both of these and then you gotta gotta go to your object you gotta increase the height if you want to but for today's video I am increasing the height to this big jumbo height so you guys can actually see what I'm doing now I'm gonna change the font to your gun I like this font it makes it all bubbly and cool so um, I'm gonna try to align it right where uh, the other one is and now I'm gonna shift and uh, click both of them and move them over here to center the in the to centerize it on the screen just because I like to centerize stuff. So um, now the actual tutorial is gonna start. First things first, you gotta have your cube. So I'm just gonna click that, or you can just go over here and click cube. Um, now what you wanna have is your cloner. Now this cloner, what you do is uh, you draw drag the cube underneath the cloner, and what the cloner does is it clones it like a bunch of like that object that you put underneath it um, but I'm gonna move that to the side for now because first we have to do um, like there are a bunch of like preparations that you have to do before you actually start this um, I'm gonna I'm gonna create the depth to 75 because that's just really annoying me all right so the next thing I do is I go over to my MoGraph and then I create a um, where is it where is it where is it where is it random the random little effector it's called random all right so um next thing you want to do is you want to click your cloner and then you want to click your text and then click alt g that'll create a subgroup um called null you can change the name to uh whatever you want let me just name it to random stuff stuff there we go uh i spelled random wrong all right so uh, let's fix that. Oh my goodness. All right. Uh, random. Dang it. I can't spell. All right. You got random stuff here and you got stuff. That's just the HDRI and all that crap. You don't need to worry about that. Um, next thing you want to do is you want to drag your random into the random stuff as well. Like the subfolder. All right. Now it gets a little complicated. What you do with the cloner right here, you click the cloner, you go to mode, you go to mode right here and you click object. What that does is now you can select which object it outlines. Now you go to, you click the question mark, no, you click the little arrow thing right here next to object, and a little question mark with an arrow pops up, and you go and click your text object. See, now it outlines the text object. Now what you can do is you go to your cube and you reduce the size to whatever you want. I'm going to reduce it to 50 because I think 50 is a good size. If you guys want to reduce it to 25 or 1000, doesn't matter. That is 560. That is not 50. All right. So as you can see, now it outlines the text. Now what you want to do is you want to start keyframing the amount of cubes that you have on the text object. So if you want 5 billion cubes, you can have 5 billion cubes. If you want like 2 cubes, you can have 2 cubes. 
it all depends on what you want so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with zero you go to your count thing right here on your cloner you click zero that's what I like to do and you click control control key on your keyboard and then you click the little circle right next to count now what you do is you drag the thing all the way like the little uh, keyframe bar all the way to whatever spot you want and then you click or you type in whatever number you uh, whatever amount of cubes you want I'm gonna type in 50 because 50 is a good number I like 50 50 is a great number you know I like 50 all right my favorite number is actually four but whatever that's a different topic <laughs> so um next thing you want to do is you want to go over to your um, random and what this random does is uh, it randomizes the cube so it splits off into like a bajillion different uh, into like a bajillion different directions like uh, the XYZ coordinates are all random so um, what you do with the random is uh, you're gonna drag it onto the cloner so you click the cloner you go to effectors right here and you drag the random onto that so as you can see it's already starting to randomize the cubes so now what you want to do is you want to click the random now you're gonna keyframe the random alright so you click the you know the keyframe that you um the last keyframe uh, which for me is 60 on the cloner you go to your random and you keyframe the strength to zero and remember you have to click control and then the circle right next to it um, and then right after that you want to click next keyframe and then you want to no actually no you wanna you know what I'm gonna go 10 no 20 keyframes after that and then I'm going to increase the strength to 100 and now I want to click keyframe uh, control sorry control and then the circle uh, next to strength again and that will keyframe it to go like boop now it grows the amount of cubes grow and then boop uh, now as you saw in that example that I showed you with the trident uh, contest entry intro that I showed you in the beginning all the cubes are everywhere like it's split everywhere in all directions now the way you do that is you click the parameter tab and you change the position to your liking see as you can see now the position is all over the place you can change rotation as well if you want the cubes to rotate um, when do all that cool stuff so now what it does is it grows it grows it grows grows and then boom there we go I might actually change that to 10 keyframes let's see here 10 there we go that's 10 so it makes a quick impact and then the way you bring it back is you just go the same distance that's what I like to do I like to do the same distance control C control V uh, to your second uh, to your last keyframe so now it goes whoop and then brings it back it goes whoop 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 I actually like it um, sometimes I actually just mess around with it so I uh, I keep this control C control V that keyframe so it actually stays in the air longer and then it goes back all right that's cool well to me it's cool you get it to you guys it might not be cool but um yeah now you guys are wondering how the heck does the text uh, the mode text uh, disappear so the way you do that is you go to your mode text you cinema 40 tags and you click display and uh, at the keyframe uh, before the keyframe that you put the cloner uh, all coming in and the random starting uh, you want to just all right, you want to just click the display tag just so you won't confuse yourself you want to go to your display tag you want to use visibility and you want to key f control C right next to that that'll create a keyframe automatically right there you want to click one keyframe after that and you want to click the visibility or change the visibility to zero that will completely make the text mo text disappear so uh, now what you want to do is or now you can see it's 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 completely gone so um wait why the heck does it do that uh 100 please come on give me 100 all right you want hundo all right all right what the heck that is weird huh uh technical difficulties I will be right back all right so I figured out the problem it would you don't actually keyframe the um the use button sorry that was my mistake that's just dumb so I'm gonna control V can I mean control Z gonna all right delete that all right so now going back to the tutorial you click use and then you change you control click the circle next to visibility not control click the circle next to use all right so um, you click the, the thing yeah uh, 
Let's see here. I'm completely losing track of everything. All right. So remember the keyframe right before the random uh, effector takes place. You click control and then the circle right next to it at 100. You go to the keyframe that the random starts. You go to zero on the visibility scale and then click control and then the circle next to visibility. Now it goes boop. See as you, you see it there. Boom. There we go. Uh, now you guys are wondering why the heck are cubes accumulating uh, right before it goes boop and disappears um, or like how to make the cubes cum accumulating disappear what you do is you do the same thing with the whole um, group so you go to cinema 4d tags you go to display do the same thing uh, over there so uh, what I do is uh, I go to use visibility controls control zero actually zero and then you click control and then the circle Go to the keyframe that the random thing starts, click 100 or type in 100 or scroll to 100% and then click the circle right next to visibility. Now that will make it do the whole thing. So it goes boop and then you can do the same thing um, with the mode text, uh, like bring it back. Now the way you bring it back, uh, I'm going to show you, it's going to be um, wherever the random, like when the random effector goes back that's when you want the these tiny cubes to disappear and your motex to come back so the way you do that is you go to the little um display tag again and uh you click you do basically the opposite of what you did over here so uh you go over there to the visibility uh tab and uh you type in um actually no you go to one keyframe before it stops the, like the random goes back to zero the st random strength goes back to zero you click control and then keyframe that again go over one and then go over there to 100 and keyframe that again like control click the circle thing again so now you have exploding and then coming back into a text object so it's not really the actual motex exploding uh, and coming back into a motex object it's actually just the text exploding and well well it, the the text around it exploding into cubes and coming back so um, it's kind of like an illusion uh, it's not really this thing exploding it's a bunch of cubes around it exploding um, now what you want to do is you want to get rid of the cubes uh, so you go one keyframe before it again you go to your random stuff one you click visibility at 100 and then you go over one Click, type in zero and click visibility to zero. So now you have your whole cube explosion effect. It goes boop and then boop and it comes back. See, um, I usually make it neater, but uh, that's basically the basics of it. Basically the basics of it. That's pretty funny. All right. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to leave a comment, like the video and subscribe uh, if you like this video and stuff like that. So yeah, bye guys. Have a good day. Peace.